Greetings to everyone that is out on Facebook, that is on YouTube, that is on Twitter. We would like to welcome you to the fourth night of our eight night online revival. Before we go any further, I'm going to call on Dr. Armstead to open us in a word of prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, create and preserve all mankind. Lord, we thank you for your many blessings. Lord, we pray tonight that you would touch hearts and Lord, that you would touch minds. And Lord, let this young man be an example of the believer. Yes. Lord, let him be in word and in conversation. Mm -hmm. God, in charity and in spirit yes. and in faith, Lord, because we walk by faith and not by sight. Yes. God, we pray you will elevate him, Lord. Yes. Use him for your glory, yes. God, and for your praise. Touch hearts tonight as never before. Yes. Convict, Lord, and convince. Tear down and fill up, Lord. Yes. In the name of Jesus, over the airways, God, yes. we thank you. We praise the holy name. Just move, God, we thank you. My God, my God. For the mighty God, we serve, Lord. Bless him, Lord. It's a sacrifice of thanksgiving. Oh, God, a sacrifice of love. God, we pray right now. We thank you. And oh, God, give us the outside and the insight, God. In the name of Jesus, as we call upon the holy name, God, use him. Let's make him as bold as he should be, Lord. To give your word, God, we pray. Let him be, oh God, let him stand, Lord, we pray. And give it, Lord, we pray. Bless, Lord, with anointing. Fill him up, Lord, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen and amen. My God, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Again, we would like to welcome everyone to the fourth night of our eight night online revival. I would like to ask everyone that is on Facebook right now to share this broadcast, share it in your groups, share it in Messenger, share it on your timeline, share it on someone else's timeline. This is going to be a powerful night. Not, uh, uh, not any other night was powerful, but this is a special night because this is a night for the young people, the millennials, the Generation G, uh, Aziz, and the Generation uh, uh, Apples and, and Omegas. Whatever your generation is, just come and listen to the word of God. Amen. Amen. But before we go any further, I want you to take your attention to the screen because I do have a few announcements that I want everyone to get right now amen amen so as you can see y'all give me a minute here one moment please all right so let's end that all right All right, so please take your attention to the screen. And as you can see, we are in our eight night online revival right now. Everyone that you see on this screen is one of the uh, powerful speakers. And let me see here. Is something going on with my computer. Y'all give me one moment. I got to end that. Let me just put this down. My computer now froze up. Okay, close this. All right. Now, let me try this one more again, y'all. All right. Now, there we go. So this is the eight night online revivals flyer. Everyone on this screen that you're looking at right now is a speaker. Tonight we have Minister Everett Mills that will be bringing forth the word of God, amen. We started off with Sunday night 
with the evangelist Barbara Hanna out of South Carolina bringing forth the word. Then we had Monday, uh, Dr. Armston out of North Carolina who brought forth the word of God. And last night we had Pastor B. Sosa right here out of the state of Florida who brought forth the word of God. And as I said, tonight we will have our young minister Everett Mills for the youth and for anyone that is online right now to hear the word of God from this young, powerful, mighty man of God. Tomorrow night, we have Apostle Lenny Roya out of Vero Beach, Florida. And Friday night will be something a little different. We will have Dr. Armston and Dr. Uh, uh, Bishop Mills tag teaming on tomorrow night. Saturday night will be myself and Sunday night closing it all down will be Bishop Milton Mills out of West Palm Beach, Florida. This is a fresh wind, fresh fire, a Holy Ghost ship revival. Amen. Amen. We're also on November 19th having another Zoom press shut in. If you need the ID, please email ob1ministries at gmail.com. That will be held Friday, November the 19th, 2021 from 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. Amen. We also have Bible study on Wednesdays at 8. Tonight, we will not have Bible study due to us having our online revival. And, we, and that is hosted by OB1 Global Movement. The number to call is 848-220-3300. The assets code is 3341266. We also have on Wednesdays and Fridays, 12 midnight Eastern Daylight Time prayer. The number to call is 848-220-3300. The access code is 3341266, and that is hosted by God Smith of Prayer Lab. However, tonight and to, um, Friday, we will not have it due to us being in our online revival. Obi-Wan Global Movement has a web app. You can take your phones right now and text OBIONE227126 to receive the app and to stay connected with the movement. On noon days, every Monday through Friday, noon days to one, there is prayer going forth by For Greater Works and See Ministries. The number to call is 848-220-3300. The assets code is 934-3884. If you're down in the Indian River County, Vero Beach, Kiffel, Florida area, New Generation Apostolic Holiness Church will welcome you with open arms. Their Sunday school starts at 10 a.m., morning worship at 11.30 a.m. The address is 1916 27th Avenue, Vero Beach, Florida, 32960. The uh, where the senior pastor is no other than our very own Bishop Milton Mills, along with his beautiful wife, Lady Carolyn Mills. Amen. Those are all of the announcements. All right. So since eternity will be preaching tonight, we're going to bring some preaching in rhythm view you too. So I am going to share my screen again, y'all. Oh, yes, I am. And we're going to hear no other than eternity singing I done had enough.
and the devil took advantage of that. The guilt like I was evil, now I'm blind and I'm ready for that. Whenever I'm feeling sick, I know exactly where my medicine is. Ain't going down with trauma, not that tripping while I'm thinking. The power of the scripture to the devil is a mission. I preach the word boldly about Jesus, I don't want to say I'm running out of minutes. It is power, gotta live it. The Lord is always with me, it's for me that he gon' get it. I done had enough, I done had enough. All right, now I'm going to call on Bishop Mills to do the introduction of our speaker for the hour. Amen. I didn't have enough. I didn't have enough. I don't want to no 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 Amen. Amen. Truly, God is good. Amen. I, I just love. They uh, hear uh, eternity perform, amen, especially knowing that it comes from God. It's a gift from God, amen, preaching in rhythm, amen. It's an honor for me to introduce him as a speaker tonight because not only is he the eternity preaching in rhythm, he's a youth uh, minister in, in, in New Generation Apostolic holding his church, amen. He's very active in we go around and do a lot of different uh, performances and encouraging the youth, amen. And, and it's been it's been a it's been a run, amen. But it's been a good one, amen. And before the pandemic hit, we was doing praises in the park. Uh, we were going to different churches and everything. And God has really been moving in His life, amen. Not only as eternity, but even as Minister Everett, He goes to different churches. I allow Him to go speak to encourage the youth, amen, about having enough, amen. And tonight, amen, he's going to encourage the young people about having enough and coming in and, in and just take, amen, a Holy Ghost ship, amen. You can still dance. You can still uh, preach in rhythm. You can still sing. You can, because the joy of the Lord is our strength. But the end will be, that we shall see Jesus when it's all over, amen. So tonight, man, it's, I, I love him, he's my son, and he's, ever since God has changed his life, he's been running, amen, continuously. You know, I try to tell him sometimes, you got to rest, Minister Everett, but anytime he's called on, he be ready to go to kind of remind me of myself in my, you know, golden years, amen. <laughs> and when the Lord asks you to do something, you'll be willing to do it. Amen. So tonight, I just ask y'all to just pay attention. Tonight, <clears throat> we heard the preaching in rhythm with one of the songs that's on his CD. Amen. But tonight, we get a chance to hear. 
amen, what God has besides, amen, the preaching and rhythm, which is going what we all going to need is the word. Listen tonight, coming from Minister Everett, a.k.a. Eternity, a Holy Ghost ship. I introduce to you all Eternity, bringing the word of God to us, a Holy Ghost ship. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, praise his holy name. Thank you, Jesus, amen. Truly grateful to God for that introductory um, from our very own Bishop Mills of New Generation Apostolic Holiness Church, amen. Truly grateful to God to be before you on tonight, preaching God's uh, word um, in rhythm and uh, also uh, rendering a word of God, amen. Um, I want to give honor to Jesus, who is the head of our lives. Amen. I give honor to the angel of this movement, Prophet Obi of, of Obi One Global uh, Movement. Amen. Give honor to Chief Obi. Uh, give honor to Dr. and Evangelist Armstrong, Pastor B. Sosi, everyone in the Zoom room. Amen. I give honor uh, to the Spirit of God on tonight. Amen. We ask that the Spirit of God have. It's free course, uh, amen. Give honor and uh, I'm thankful for everyone under the sound of my voice on tonight, amen. And I do not wanna uh, be before you uh, long, amen. So we're gonna go straight into the word of God, amen. Uh, those um, that um, hear me, amen, if you can turn with me to First King, we're gonna read from chapter nine, um, we're going to start at the uh, ninth verse, amen. And my sub scripture will be coming from the New Testament, the book of Acts, chapter two. And we'll begin at the first verse, amen. Again, uh, first King chapter 19, starting at verse nine, and Acts chapter two, starting at verse one, amen. First King chapter 19, verse nine. And he came thither unto a cave and lodged there. And behold, the word of the Lord came to him. And he said unto him, what doest thou here, Elijah? And he said, I have been very jealous for the Lord God of hosts. For the children of Israel have forsaken thy covenant, thrown down thine altars, and slain thy prophets with the sword. And I, even I only am left, and they seek my life to take it away. And he said, go forth and stand upon the mount before the Lord. And behold, the Lord passed by in a great and strong wind, rent the mountains and break in pieces the rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. And after the wind, an earthquake. But the Lord was not in the earthquake. And after the earthquake, a fire. But the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire, a still, small voice. Amen. Now we're going to read Acts chapter 2, beginning at verse 1. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them clothing tongues like as a fire, and it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Father God, for being our Father, for being God of all gods, for being Lord 
of all, Lord, the King of kings. Father God, we acknowledge you today for being our savior. Father God, we pray that you allow your Holy Spirit to take free course even over the airways, Father God. Father God, we pray that a soul be touched, amen, that a soul be set free on tonight. Father God, I decrease and I ask that your Holy Spirit increase in me, that tonight we hear a word that is not from me, but it's, but it's from your Holy Spirit. And in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. So as we know on tonight and through the revival, that our theme is fresh wind, fresh fire, a Holy Ghost shift. So as a topic on tonight for me, I actually want to use the same topic, amen, that my topic will be fresh wind, fresh fire, a Holy Ghost shift, amen. So as I read on my first passage, the word of the Lord came to Elijah. I want us to be reminded on tonight that when the word of the Lord comes to us, we must understand that we must respect the word of God, that we must reverence the word of God, amen, that we must hear the word of God. We must believe what thus says the word of God, amen. Jesus is the word of God. He is the word made flesh, amen. So we must desire that the sincere milk of the word that we may grow thereby, amen. We may des desire Jesus. We may uh, understand that we need him. We need more of Jesus. We need more of, of God's peace, God's power, amen. We must hide the word in our hearts that we may not sin against God, amen. We must abide in the word of God. We must stay in the word. We must rest in the word of God, amen. We must uh, delight ourselves in studying God's word. The Bible tells us to hear what the spirit says uh, to you, amen. And we must hear the word and we must not be hearers only, but we must be doers of the word, amen. We have to keep God's word. We have to respect Jesus, amen. We must believe that he is God. We must believe that he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him, amen. Why is he a rewarder of those that diligently seek him? We must seek God with our whole heart, amen. We must fight the good fight of faith. We must continue to run the race. No matter if it gets hard, no matter if we struggle, we must continue to diligently hold on to God's unchanging hands, amen. We must respect the word of God. So as the word of God came to Elijah, Elijah responded and he cried out to God. He, he cried out to God concerning the people of God, amen. The, 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 the word says that he cried out to God uh, in jealousness. It says, and he said, I have been very jealous for the Lord God of hosts. Do we sometimes get jealous for God, amen? When we look into the world and see that the world is enjoying what they're doing, that the, uh, the devil is looking like uh, he's winning, amen? Do, do, do we get jealous for God when we see uh, the, the people of the world just enjoying themselves and, and marrying and, 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 and thinking they got it all going on? Do we get jealous? Amen. I, I know I have uh, some, some, some pastors and some leaders under the sound of my voice, amen, that understands uh, 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 the jealousy uh, uh, for, for God, amen. Do we know that our God is a jealous God, amen? Our God, he wants our attention. He wants us to, to, to spend time with him. He wants us to put him first. He wants us to, uh, uh, to give him the first fruits, to give him our all, amen. And when you don't give God your all, give him your time, uh, uh, God is jealous, amen. God is, is, is very jealous, amen. So Elijah cried. And, 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 and the reason why he was jealous, because he said, for the children of Israel have forsaken thy covenant 
thrown down thine altars and slain thy prophets with the sword. In other words, that the people is not believing in God. The people was not hearkening to the voice of the Lord. The people was not following Jesus, amen. The people was not on the side of God, amen. So, so, so Elijah was, was hurt, amen. Many of the times um, we as the people of God, we, we are gr uh, grown, we are upset when we minister or when we walk this example of Jesus. And, and it seems like others don't want to walk with us. It seems like others don't want to hold on to God's unchanging hand with us. It seems like others don't want to continue to fight the good fight of faith. It seems like others don't want to continue to represent Jesus, hold up the bloodstained banner, amen. We get jealous, we get upset, amen. But I want y'all to hear how God responded to the cry of his son, to the cry of Elijah, amen. There is a scripture in the book of um, Psalms, amen, that tell us to fret not against evildoers, for they will soon be cut off, amen. But God did not say that to Elijah. God did not tell Elijah to, to, to don't uh, uh, fret, to, to not be jealous for me, amen. God told Elijah to go forth and stand upon the mount before him. And he said, behold, I want y'all to understand what is taking place here. God is saying, Elijah, sit here and let me show you something. A lot of times God is a God that loves to prove himself, amen. God doesn't have to prove himself to any of us, but that is what kind of God he is. He is a God that will prove himself faithful to you. He will prove himself um, an on-time God to you. He will prove himself the uh, provider, amen. He will prove himself uh, uh, the righteous uh, uh, man that uh, the spirit, the power, uh, the power that is above all powers uh, uh, to you, amen. He wants to show us something, amen. So here in this first passage that I read, God has shown Elijah where he is not. He said that he is not that there was a wind and that he was not in the wind. There was a earthquake, there was a shift, there was a, a, a move, but God was not in that move. There was a fire, but God was not in that fire. Then it says, there was a still, small voice. I want to remind us on tonight that there's a wind that God is not in, amen. There is a wind that came upon Jonah, amen, while he was running away from God, amen, while he was going against the word of God, while he decided to try to hide from God, from what God called him to be. There was a wind that blew on his boat, amen. There was a wind, there was, and in the wind, there, there is a storm, there, there is a trouble, amen. And that wind caused Jonah to be thrown off of the boat, amen. There is a wind that, that, that may cause you to, to change some things in your life, amen. There is a, a wind that came upon the boat where Peter ended up walking on water after in the midst of that wind, amen. There is a wind that came while he was walking on the water and he was coming unto Jesus, amen. And there was a wind that distracted him. There was a wind that caused him to fear. There was a wind that caused him to sink, amen. I want you to know that there is a wind uh, that God is not in, amen. There is a wind, the purpose of the wind, amen, is to get you to be prepared, amen. The purpose of the wind, see, God had rebuked the wind. He said, peace be still after uh, Peter had called on Jesus after he sunk. Jesus had 
hold him. Jesus had rescued him. And he told the wind, he said, peace, be still. But I want you to remember too, that God had told Peter, oh, ye of little faith, why did you doubt? See, when you're going through this wind of trouble, this wind of storms, God don't want you to doubt. God wants you to hold on to his unchanging hands. God wants you to call on his name in sincerity, amen. God wants to prove himself to you that through the storms, amen, you can receive the peace of God, that you can withhold the storm, that you can stand in the midst of the storm, in the power of his might, amen, if you remember who you are shepherded by, amen. Jesus is the good shepherd. Jesus is our shepherd, and we shall not want. Don't worry about the wind, the trouble wind. Don't worry about the the wind that beats upon the house, amen, and, and, and try to cause you to have a great fall. Don't let the wind trouble you. Be not troubled or discouraged, amen, through the wind, amen. Gee, God is not in COVID-19, amen. God is not in uh, your problems, amen. God is not in the, your, your poverty, amen. God is not in the trials and tribulations that you faith, uh, face, amen. That is the trouble win. That is the enemy knocking at your door, trying to ship you, trying to make you move off of God, trying to come and still kill and destroy the faith, the hold, the grip that you have on Jesus, God's word, amen. Uh, God is not in that wind, amen. I also want to let you know about the 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 quake, the 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 fire that God is not in. The there is a fire that is a hell fire, amen. Brimstone. There is a fire for the enemy, for the devil, amen. The uh, the uh, the Bible tells us that the tongue is a fire, a a a ruly evil, amen. And I, I want you to understand that the fire. It's just the struggle, the, the fire that you're going through. Sometimes you may feel like you're going through so much. Remember, Job, Job went through the fire. Job lost his kids, his livestock. Job, uh, um, his, his wife came up against him. Uh, God allowed the devil to attack his skin, amen, his flesh, amen, Be, uh, because God wanted to prove himself uh, uh, through Job, amen, that if you hold on by you going through the fire, uh, uh, the Bible say uh, uh, that Job did not sin. Job did not say any bad thing. Job did not do. Job was not moved. Job stood in the fire. Amen. There was uh, uh, the Hebrew boys, Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. Amen. Who was thrown in a fiery furnace. Amen. But they stood on the word of God. They stood on Jesus. Amen. Oh, I want to encourage someone on today. I want to remind someone on today. There is someone going through the fire. There is someone that the wind is beating on you. Amen. I want to remind you to hold on to God's unchanging hand. Hold on to the name of Jesus. Amen. There is power in the name of Jesus. Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego was thrown into the fiery furnace. Amen. But they withstood the fire because they went in the fire on the name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, the king Nebuchadnezzar said there is one that has looked like the son of man amen we know that there is a son of God amen there and that son is Jesus amen we know that it was Jesus that was with them in the fire amen Jesus will keep you in the fire Jesus will mold you in the fire Jesus will shape you in the fire Jesus will teach you some things in the fire amen stand in the fire amen you can bear the fire don't fear the spirit of God is telling me that there is someone that is facing the fire, but they're avoiding going through the fire. I want you to know today that the still small voice of God is right through that fire. Amen. The blessing of God, the anointing of God, the shift of the Holy Ghost is right through that fire. God just wants you to press toward the mark of the high calling of God, which is in Christ Jesus. Amen. Do not fear. We do not have the spirit of fear, amen. Do not let fear rule your life. Go through the fire, amen.
I encourage someone on tonight to go through the fire. The fire is going to make you stronger, amen. The fire is going to change you, amen. The fire is going to burn some sin off your life, amen. You can withstand the fire. The Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, they came out of the fire. Just like the faith that Peter spoke about, pure as gold, amen. They came out of the fire unhorned. No evidence of burning on them because the power of Jesus is greater than this fire, amen. I want you to be reminded of today that you must come through the wind. You must come through the fire, amen. You must come through the quake. Don't worry about the devil trying to shake you, shake your foundation, beating up on your faith, beating up on your love. Don't worry. Just continue to bear it. With God, it is possible, amen. You can make it through the fire, amen. I want to let you know that it is worth going through the troubles, the struggles. It only makes you stronger because God let us know that the victory is his, amen. He has already won. And as long as we have the Holy Ghost power in us, amen, then the victory is ours, amen. The victory is yours. Whatever it is that you are facing on today, whatever it is that you are fearing facing, fearing going through, fearing experiencing, I want you to understand that with Jesus, you can overcome it. You will come out victorious. There is a wind that God is in. Just like our theme is on tonight, a fresh wind. There is a fresh fire, amen. I want you to know that this fresh wind that God will blow upon you, amen, is worth fighting for, amen. I want you to know that this fresh wind, the Bible said that God formed man out of the dust of the ground and he breathed the breath of life in him and he became a living soul, amen. See, I want you to be encouraged on today. And I want you to understand that there is a wind that God is in, amen? The fresh wind, the wind that'll give you life. There's a blow from God, amen, that will strengthen you. There's a touch, there's a blow from God that will lift you up, that will push you into his presence, amen? There's a feeling in the atmosphere of God, in the presence of God, amen, that will put a change into your heart, amen, that will put a change into your mind, amen. I want to encourage you on today, amen, that God is blowing on us on tonight. God is blowing on your life, amen. God is already working on your behalf, amen. There is a fresh wind coming into your life, amen. You have to continue to believe the word of God, that if you delight yourself in him, he will give you the desires of your heart, amen. You have to believe that all things work together for the good, amen. What the devil meant for to be bad on your life, what the devil meant for you to fall and, and, and never get back up on your life, what the devil meant for you to fail, what the devil meant for you to come short at, what the devil meant to be a mistake in your life, the, the, the God that we serve is going to turn it for your good, amen. It is going to be your a turning point, amen. You must understand that we need Jesus in our life. We need that fresh wind, amen. Oh, that fresh oil, that fresh anointing, that fresh touch from God, amen. It gives you a, a, a glow uh, a, a, in your walk, amen, where people will notice your joy, amen. The Bible say that the joy of the Lord is our strength, amen. There is joy in this fresh wind. There is power in the fresh wind of God, amen. Oh, I just want God's power on tonight. Oh, do you want the fresh wind of God, amen? There is a fresh fire, amen. There is a fire. There is a fire, amen, that, that, that God is. There is another level of fire, amen. God tell us that he will baptize us in water and of fire, amen. There is a, 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 a scripture, a, a God tell us that he was going to, he is going to end the world this time, not in water, amen, but in fire, amen. But there is a fresh fire, amen. There is a fire that, it, that, that when it's shut up in your bones, amen, oh, there is a fire, amen, of God. Do you know that the Jesus that we serve, he dwells in 
unapproachable fire, amen. So I want you to understand that uh, don't worry about the fire or when you're going through so many troubles and so much uh, going on in your life, amen. I want you to know that you're one step away, amen, from getting to that shift, amen, from getting to that Holy Ghost shift, amen. I want you to understand that when the storm is raising, when the temperature and the wind is blowing upon you, amen, I want you to understand to keep holding on because you're one step away, amen. Oh, you're one moment away, amen, from God pouring down his blessings upon you, amen, from that fresh wind to blowing on your life, amen, from that fresh wind to blowing on your finances, amen, that fresh wind and fresh fire of uh, blowing and, and burning up on your health, amen, for you to be healed, Amen. Oh, I want to encourage someone today to keep going. Amen. Keep fighting. Keep holding on to God. Amen. Keep going forth. Don't be afraid of, of going through the fire. The, the word tell us that we must come through the water. Amen. And when we come through the water, amen, we must go, go through the fire. Amen. So I encourage you on today. Oh, I push you in the spirit. Amen. Oh, I push you in the spirit on tonight to go forth in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, I push you into the spirit on tonight. Amen. Into the fresh wind of God. Amen. Into the fresh fresh fire of God's Holy Ghost. Amen. Oh, God is going to make a change in your life. Oh, God is going to do some things into your life. Amen. Oh, you are one decision away. Amen. From coming into the glory of God, to the blessings, amen, to your desire, and to your vision. Amen. I want to encourage you on tonight, amen, to not worry about the trouble, to not worry about the struggle. Amen. God had told us in his word, that we will be persecuted, we will be talked about, we will be a uh, 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 sheep, um, uh, in, um, we will be sheep um, that have to be harmless as uh, um, a dove, but wise as a serpent, amen. We must understand that he, uh, uh, he we, that we are sheep, amen, that God is going to protect us, that we have to be uh, 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 attacked, amen. The devil is going to attack us, but no, that uh, like the scripture says that when you are persecuted, know that your name is written in heaven, amen. So when the struggle comes and when the devil attacks and when things happen here, things happening there, COVID-19, all this going on in the world, I want to remind you on today to keep holding on God's voice, God's fresh wind and fresh fire is coming, amen. There is gonna be a Holy Ghost shift the Holy Ghost ship is near, amen. God wants you to hold on. He says he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. That means, the diligence means that you must try hard for God, amen. That you must press, amen. That you must not give up. That you may must not give in. That you may must not look back. That you must be established and rooted deep down into God, amen, that, that he, knowing he is the way, knowing that uh, his word will not return him void, amen, God is going to let his fresh wind pour out upon you, his fresh fire burn up all of the sin, all of the troubles that surround you, amen, and you can receive that crown of joy, that crown of peace, amen. You have to receive that Holy Ghost ship, to receive that Holy Ghost ship in your life, that Holy Ghost ship in your finances, in your health, that Holy Ghost ship in your situation, that Holy Ghost ship from uh, uh, your job to a promotion, that Holy Ghost ship, amen, from glory to glory, from uh, faith to faith, amen, that Holy Ghost ship from grace to grace, from height to height, amen. We need a Holy Ghost ship in our life, amen. We need a Holy Ghost ship. We are having a Holy Ghost ship on tonight, amen, through this revival, amen. Receive your Holy Ghost ship. Fight, hold on, don't give up. God is near, amen. God is there, amen. So I encourage you, to receive that Holy Ghost ship in your life. The woman with the issue of blood received her Holy Ghost ship. She went through the water. She went through the wind. She went through the fire 
all the things that came up, the multitude surrounding God. The, uh, and she pressed, she pressed, and she didn't give up. And she was touched, her Holy Ghost ship. Amen. Hallelujah. There uh, was one, amen, that seen his Holy Ghost ship. Amen. I want to encourage you on today that the Holy Ghost ship is at hand. Amen. If you haven't received, experienced your Holy Ghost ship, you are not coming through the wind and coming through the fire. Because the Bible say that if you cannot get to Jesus except the Father has drawn you, amen. In the, in the Bible also say in John 14 that you cannot get to the Father except by Jesus. Jesus said, except by me, amen. So I want you to understand that there is a commitment that you have to make to receive your Holy Ghost ship, amen. I have received my Holy Ghost ship when I believe that Jesus will make a way for me, that Jesus can change me, amen. When I commit it to God, that I'm gonna be with him, I'm gonna serve him no matter what I go through. That's the commitment God wants you to have. That is when your Holy Ghost shift can take place, amen. When you make up in your mind that you are gonna serve Jesus to the end, even unto death like Jesus had done. I want to encourage you into your Holy Ghost ship, amen, because God is ready to make a change in your life. He's ready to change uh, the way you think. He's ready to put a renewing in your mind. He's ready to change your heart, amen, and give him a heart after his kind. He's ready to change who you are, amen. He's ready to change your surroundings, your settings. He's ready to take you to another level, another height in God. He's ready to give you the desires of your heart. He's ready to bless you. He's ready to grant you everlasting life. He's ready to grant you his glow, amen, his fresh anointing, amen. He's ready to put the fresh fire into you, amen. He's ready to bless you, to, to allow you to receive him into yourself, amen. But you have to be ready. For the wind, you have to come through the wind. You have to come through the fire. You have to, re to receive your Holy Ghost ship, amen. There is a fresh wind that God is blowing upon us. There is a fresh fire, amen, that God has around us. I love, amen, calling on the name of Jesus. I love praising God for his love that he gives us for his forgiving us, amen, for him giving us a chance and a chance and a chance after again, for him being with us, keeping us, leading us, amen. I want to receive another Holy Ghost ship, amen. Yes, I receive a Holy Ghost ship. You can receive a Holy Ghost ship, but I want to receive another Holy Ghost ship in my life, amen. That's why I serve God the way I do, amen. That's why I bless his name the way I bless his name. That's why I want to encourage us on tonight to continue to love Jesus, continue to know that we are the victory, amen. We have the victory, amen. We are the first and not the last. We are the head and not the tail. We are rich in the spirit, amen. We are rich and not poor, amen. We are God's children, amen. We are the royal priesthood. We are the holy nation, amen. We are the peculiar people, amen. We are the people that is of God, amen. The people that God uh, keeps, the people that God loves, amen. So I want another Holy Ghost. Do you want another Holy Ghost shift in your life? Amen. I want God to shift my finances even more. Amen. I want God to shift my health even more. Amen. I want God to shift the, uh, uh, the church that I go to even more. I mean, I want God to continue to shift uh, on these airways. Amen. I want God to, God is going to continue to shift, amen, us, amen, shift the atmosphere, shift this earth, amen. I want you to be ready for the shift. I want you to be uh, prepared for the shift uh, of the Holy Ghost, amen, in your life, amen, in this earth, amen. I want you to understand that the Holy Ghost shift 
is at hand. How bad do you want Jesus to give you that shift, amen? You have to call on him. You have to call on the name of Jesus, amen? You have to continue to fight, amen? You have to continue to know that he is God. Amen. I want you to experience your Holy Ghost shift, amen? Because when you get that Holy Ghost shift, it is nothing like that Holy Ghost shift in your life, amen? It is nothing, amen, like receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost, amen? You see at the day of Pentecost, they were all on one accord, all in one place. Let's get all on one accord with Jesus, amen? Let's get all on one accord with the people of God, amen, with the people of faith. Let's get all on one accord with the word, amen, so we can be in one place, so we can be in Jesus. We all uh, are in his body, amen, knit together. We all are children of God. We all are in the body of Christ, amen. There, with, there is when the Holy Ghost can continue to shift. And then it can shift and overflow and shift onto the streets, the hedges, into the highway. Shift, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Continue to shift, God. I'm compelling someone under the sound of my voice now to allow the shift. Allow the shift. Stop fighting it, amen. Allow God to come into your heart. Tell Jesus to grant me your Holy Ghost, God. Grant me your Holy Ghost shift, God. Oh, Jesus, 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 give it to me, Father God. Fight and, and, and jump in the spirit, amen. Oh, get to the altar, amen. And let God, Holy Ghost, shift you, amen. In the name of Jesus, amen. We plead the blood of Jesus now. Oh, Father God, we thank you for your blessings. Oh, Father God, we thank you for your Holy Ghost shift. Uh, on our lives. Oh, Father God, we thank you for making a way for us. We thank you for, uh, for loving us so much, Father God, that you gave us a way to the kingdom of heaven, that you sent your son, Jesus, amen. And us, amen. Oh, Father God, we bless you in the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Oh, we encourage mm -hmm. somebody, right, to receive the Holy Ghost shift, amen, to cry out to God, amen, call on his name, say, Jesus, I need you, I had enough. And I want to receive that fresh wind, that fresh fire. I want to receive a Holy Ghost shift, a Holy Ghost change in my life. Amen. I want to be renewed. I want to become a new creature, God. I want you to make me like you, Jesus. Make me holy, God. Make me righteous, Father God. Make me just like you. Oh, we accept your Holy Ghost ship into our lives, amen. And that's my word on tonight, amen. There is a fresh wind, a fresh fire that is glowing on your life, amen. You have to go through that wind, go through the wind of trouble, the wind, the fire of struggle, and receive your ship, amen, in the Holy Ghost, amen, for it is at hand, amen. How bad do you want your Holy Ghost ship? How bad do you want another Holy Ghost ship, amen? And that is my word on tonight. In Jesus' name, y'all continue to pray my strength in the Lord. Amen, amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you. Glory. Amen, amen. What a word, amen. Jesus! Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Good. Thank you, Mr. Oh. Ever. Father God, we pray virtue back into the man of God tonight, God, for pouring out his spirit and his heart, his mind, and the word of God to your people. Amen. A desire. Amen. A fresh wind. Amen. A fresh fire. Yeah. Amen. I just truly thank God. For the word tonight, so Lord, we ask you to touch him from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. Give him the strength that he needs to continue to go forth, amen, to, do, to continue to endure as a good soldier, amen. We thank you, God. We ask you to give him the strength now to continue to run on so he can get his next, amen, get another. Yes. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. Yes. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. Glory to God. Yeah. Hallelujah. If there's anyone, amen, that's under the sound of my voice right now, amen, that wants to receive God in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is altar call time. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. If you want a Holy Ghost ship, come on here, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I want you to go to the scripture with me. And that will be Psalm. Hallelujah. Psalm 51. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Glory to God. Psalm 51. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And this right here, if you just say, have mercy upon me, oh God. According to thy love and kindness, according mm -hmm. unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot yes. out my transgressions. Yes. Wash me thoroughly from yes. my iniquity and cleanse me from yes. my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is if ever before me. Against thee, thee only, have I sinned. And done this evil in thy sight, that thou as mightest be justified when thou speakest, and be clear when thou judges. Behold, I was shaping in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part thou shalt make me to know wisdom. Purge me with his up, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear joy and gladness, that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Deliver me from bone, from blood guiltlessness. From bone guiltlessness, O oh God. Thou God of my salvation and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O oh Lord, open thou my lips and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. For thou desirest not sacrifice, else will I give it. Thou delightest not in burnt offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart. O oh God, thou wilt not despise. Do good in thy good pleasure unto Zion. Build thou the walls of Jerusalem. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness, with burnt offering, whole burnt offering. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thy altar. Listen here. Create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. If you want your Holy Ghost ship, first of all, you got to repent. You got to repent. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Repent of all of your sin. God knows your sin. Hallelujah. The things that you think that you're hiding, God see you. Come on here, Holy Ghost. I'm not only talking to the ones that 
want to be saved for the first time. I'm talking to the ones that have backslid. Yeah, you backslid. Mm -hmm. And I'm also talking to the body of Christ. Amen. Because we as the people in the body of Christ need to ask for forgiveness and repent every millisecond of the day. Hallelujah. So it's just not for, 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 it's for all of us tonight. Hallelujah. So if you want a Holy Ghost ship, purge me with him, son. Hallelujah. Ask God to purge you. Hallelujah. All of us can use some purging. Come on here. Hallelujah. Eternity say he want a, a, another dose of Holy Ghost ship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'm right there with him. Give me a double dose. Hallelujah. Of the Holy Ghost. Fire. Fresh fire. Fresh wind. Fresh zeal. Fresh excitement. Fresh all. Fresh anointing. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus God. So God, we pray for your people tonight. For everyone that is on Facebook right now, oh God that is in a need of a move from you right now, God. We come into agreement, God. You said in your word, whether there are two or three, gathered in your name, touching the green on anything that you are in the midst. So God, we thanking you right now for being in the midst right now, in the name of Jesus, God. Oh God, if there's a healing, you heal like only you can, hallelujah. If there's a touch, God, touch, touch in the hospitals, God, touch in the nursing homes, God, touch in the homes, God, touch in families, God, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, we thank you right now, God, in the name of Jesus, God, hallelujah, as you continue, God, to bless, hallelujah, and to pour out your spirit upon all flesh, God. In the name of Jesus, God. Hallelujah, God. We pray for those that are dealing with mental issues. We yeah. pray for those right now, God. We say a special prayer right now for Sister Valerie right now, God. Just asking you, God, to touch her. Touch her right now from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet. In the name of Jesus. And anyone that's dealing with mental issues, schizophrenia, high blood pressure, diabetes, animal shock cancer you got to go the blood of jesus is against you and you are denounced in the name of jesus hallelujah glory to god so we thank you right now we give you praise and we give you glory and we give you all the honor and it's in jesus name we pray there will be no backlash all retaliation to no rod and no prayer. No rod will fall to the ground. It will do what it was sent to do. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Glory amen. to God. Hallelujah. My God, my God. Hallelujah. What a powerful word on tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'm just going to say this. Amen. Hallelujah to our, to the older, the older, the older people. Listen, when God is using our young people, it's time for us to show up and support. Yes. It's time for us to show up and support our young people. You know, the young people get discouraged sometimes when they don't see a lot of us showing up for them, but they show up for us. Y'all should be ashamed of yourself. Yes, I'm going to tell you. You should be ashamed of yourself that you did not come on here and support this young man while he was preaching and giving the word of God on tonight. I'm talking to Hallelujah. everybody that is on Facebook playing your games and shifting here and going here and putting all kinds of matters of evil on Facebook instead of coming hearing the word of God and hearing the word oh. of truth. Yes, I am talking to you. And if it's stepping on your toes, good. Maybe you will change because that's what a shift is. A shift is bringing about a change. You need to change your mindset. 
Hallelujah. And you should be ashamed of yourself that you didn't come and support this young man, mighty man of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And God gonna deal with you. God gonna deal with you. I ain't got nothing else to say. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. That's all I got to say. But I'm very disappointed in our elders tonight. Yes, I am. Amen. Hallelujah. You can close us out, Bishop. Or you want me to do it? We do that too. <laughs> amen. We just truly thank God. Amen for the word. Coming from Minister Everett, amen, wonderful word. Amen, I'm glad to be a part of it, glad to be in his life, glad to be fathering such a wonderful son, amen. It wasn't always like this, but look what a shift can do for you, I'm amen. Telling you. It wasn't always, amen, listening to him say good things, but look yes. what a the Holy Ghost can do, amen. So I'm telling the young people out there now, get you a shift from the Holy Ghost, and it'll get you to a good place. It'll get you in a good way. It'll get you with joy. It'll have you with some peace. It'll have you want to, amen. The same way you want to do and go out, you're going to want to do and come in for the Lord. So we just thank him tonight for that wonderful word, and we look forward as we continue on this, hey, virtual revival, amen. I'm getting more and more excited. <laughs> amen. Amen. And like uh, Prophet always say, tomorrow night. Hey, tomorrow man. night. Hey, go ahead. Show your neighbor and say tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. We tomorrow will night. have no other than Apostle Lenny Royal bringing forth the word on tomorrow night out of Gilford, Florida. Amen. 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 We love you, but we got to go. Amen. Amen. Amen.